Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Love Locks, and welcome to Halls of Torment, a game I could best describe as a Diablo vampire survivors like. Looks like we've got some quests. Oh, first try, enter the Halls of Torment with any character. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll figure this out as we go. I wanna I wanna jump in. I love the graphics for this game. Uh, I grew up gaming in the '80s, and uh, reminds me of like. <laughs> Graphics from the ooh, get some gold. Definitely from the 80s and like early 90s. I guess into like the mid 90s too. Eh? So we're uh, we're automatically attacking guys. I turned on auto attack, but I guess we can attack manually. Right now it's skellies, and they're dropping experience points. We pick up the experience, and eventually we're gonna level up, and we get powers, so we can kill. Or enemies. And that's how the game works as far as I know. Uh, I'm sure we're going to find out more as we go. We get to choose a trait on level up. Strength 1 plus 10% damage. Surprisingly enough, damage increases any damage done by direct attacks. Not affect indirect effects. Okay. Vitality 1. It's a strong. Adds a fixed value to the maximum health of the player character. Unless an increase in the base health comes from equipment. Health is filled up by the additional amount. Okay, Vanguard plus 8% range increases how far a melee attack can hit or how far projectiles can fly. The effect is relative and depends on the attack's base values. Metabolism 1 strong. Does this mean it's a stronger version of the vitality? I don't know. Plus 0.2 health regeneration per second. I think that's self-explanatory. I'm going to go with damage. Yeah. Kill these suckers. It's like we knock them back when we level up. Quick hands, attack speed. Got range. Pick up range. I can do pick up range. So we can level up faster. Man, it's just the atmosphere is thick in this game. Feel surrounded by evil and darkness. And uh, this is a good time to play this. We've got Diablo 4 just around the corner. And the, by the way, this is the prelude. So it's like a demo version of the full game. I don't think the full game's out yet. So attack speed, cunning technique, plus 3% base critical hit chance. It affects the main weapon. Okay, collateral damage one. Area and cone sizes. You see the area of effect or the angle of an attack cone. Doesn't affect the range. Yeah. Uh, let's go area. I assume this is a cone attack. Oh, we got some shield dudes. So you gotta break the shield. Okay. Yeah, give me that. And I, guess, I assume there's going to be different classes to unlock. I think some range would be nice too, huh? Another level. Uh, Vanguard range, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, defense. Plus 20% critical damage bonus. But do we crit? Right now, I did see some, some red numbers, so that must be the crit. I'm gonna go... I gotta keep an eye on these to see if strong makes a difference. Increases how far a melee attack can hit or how far projectiles can fly. Okay. We've got 10 gold, 123 enemies killed, I guess. That's the experience. I'm gonna go range. I don't know how close, see there was a crit right there. I don't know how close we can get before we take damage. I got some, oh, there's, are those oozes? <laughs> Classic, they're not green though. The first oozes you face in any game like this. Oh, I got hit. Okay. It's usually a green ooze. These look like 
mercury is mercury blobs. Oh, it's a freaking boss enemy! Oh damn! It's glowing, guys. It's it's a glowing giant skeleton. Okay, movement speed seems like it would be really good. We're, we're freaking slow. Proficient stance. Okay. Swordsman, that's a class that we chose. Plus 3% base critical hit chance, plus 3% block chance, or health and defense. This seem, seems like, like why would I choose this over that? Let's do proficient stance, what? And I am choosing where to aim my attack. Oh, you see that? See those dodging skills? That's that's all the hours of vampire survivors finally paying off. I guess I should destroy these, huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. You can set little fires. It's like I am I healing over time? 484. It has a health bar, right? Eh? Boss. 45, okay, yeah, I am. Weapon proficiency one, plus 50% damage with the main weapon, plus 10% attack speed. Hell yeah, I'm not even looking at the other ones. So it looks like these, these mercury oozes have a different movement pattern. Like the skeletons are kind of just blindly following and the oozes have a little randomness. Harder to predict. Maybe I should drag them over. Oh, th also there's this. I should be walking that way, eh? There's something to pick up or up there. You know what, let's get that one. I don't know which one's closer. I don't know if there's a map. Dedication, plus 50 base health, plus three base defense. These are all one. Strong again, okay. Let's get a defensive one. We're getting mainly offensive stuff. Looks like there's slots for equipment maybe? Oh, quest completed. Survive until there are only 26 minutes left. Wait, what? Where's... Is there... Oh, the timer's in the bottom right. I just want to get all that experience. I'm digging the sound effects. They're crunchy. Cunning technique, long fingers. Yeah. Collateral damage too. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. I'm going long fingers too. I think that's going to pay off. Okay, we got some imps now. Got him. Oh no, I thought that was the boss going down. There we go. A scroll. I wonder if that's gonna be a magic scroll or something. Let's get these enemies away from that so I can pick it up. Okay, I'm going for it. Looks like they dropped some gold too. Scroll of Mastery. Choose an ability. Phantom Needles fires needles at random nearby enemies in quick succession. Astronomer's Orbs. Summons metal orbs that circle around you and damage enemies. Orbs are indestructible and permanent. Lightning Strike. Strikes random enemies with lightning and stuns enemies in the surrounding. I'm going to go Astronomer's Orb. And also we leveled up. Ruthless. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that was bad. I thought they'd be closer. I'm going to keep moving up to the top left. 
but I really want to get all this experience. Thick Hide, plus three base defense. Parry, plus three percent base block chance. Collateral damage, too. But maybe I want metabolism. Might need some more defensive skills. Now let's go collateral damage. My defensive skills are my amazing movement capabilities. Timing. Skill. My skills are my skills. What is that? Oh, I didn't order that. Oh, okay. Those are really cool attacks, actually. I am digging this so far. Are oh, you summoned too? Are you a summoner? Yeah, level up. Planetary mass, astronomer's orbs. Okay, I see. So the thing in the parentheses uh, has to do with what it applies to. Plus five orb base damage, plus 10% orbit speed. Orb presence, orb size, speed. Oh yeah, I mean, why would I get this? Oh, I guess base damage goes up. Want that. Oh. Oh God, you got me. Yeah, burn him. Okay, okay, you can't just run away like that. All the time. Oh, shit. Definitely want, I should have gotten one speed. They're starting to come at me. Trying to keep those orbs on them. Oh, you're so much faster than me. Oh yeah, burn them, burn them, burn them, burn them. Okay, that wasn't well-timed. Ouch! Another level! Uh, plus 20% critical damage bonus. 10% damage, speed, and base damage. I think I'm gonna get the health regen at this point. I like that we're just basically running around topless. Okay, I managed to avoid that that time. Yes, I got I got the fire on him for a little bit. Yes, yes, quest completed. Oh, we got an item. Oh, I'm I'm loving this so much. I love the old school style. <laughs> it like reminds me of, um, well, obviously Diablo, but like those old uh, D&D games, like top down D&D games and uh, like Heroes of Might and Magic, the style of it. Plate armor, plus six defense, plus 10% block chance. Quick hand gloves, that's attack speed, or we can get health capacity, health regeneration per minute, and defense. I'm gonna get the chain mail. Beautiful. Looks like they armored up also. I think I have a bunch of experience to pick up over there. See me maneuver my way through there, guys. Pure skill. I feel like I could turn the the um, the music up. Okay, vitality, planetary mass, thick height, critical damage bonus. I need a planetary mass. Let me turn up this music. Go towards the weaker ones. Oh, we've got some some magic users. Yeah. 
Okay, I definitely want attack speed. Or I definitely want movement speed. Parry? Cunning technique, metabolism. Or we'll do metabolism too. 200,000 damage in one run? Twenty minutes, thirty seconds. Now, I also feel like a game with really good graphics and really good production value like this, I think there's a place for that. What is that? I saw a red one. Maybe that's like extra experience. Uh, quick hands, vitality, quick hide, cunning technique. Let's go attack speed. Also, now the music's too loud. <laughs> yeah, I was wrong. Here we go. Some some songs are louder than others, I suppose. Oh, there's. Bigger oozes. We gotta take out this riffraff. Swift feet, there it is. But weapon proficiency too, guys. I'm gonna go swift feet. We gotta be able to move faster, because we're not we can't get away from the enemies. So this is going to be another skill, right? Seems to be two types of bosses. Ones that give you equipment and ones that give you skills. Hey, look at that ooze that's stuck there. Oh, the yellow ones aren't giving me money. Those must be bigger experiences too. There we go. There's our proficient stance too that we wanted before, I think, right? But long fingers. I'm gonna get that. We need to do more damage. Oh, these oozes are splitting. Okay. Ow. Oh, I blocked. I think I blocked one there. Oh, shoot. I'm not getting a lot of damage on that boss guy. Faster. I'm curious to see if there's going to be like combos skills, synergies. Oh, I don't know why I'm aiming over there. Kind of losing track of my... Cabin survived too! Oh no. Beasties. I need to get that boss. There's so many enemies in the way. Yeah, I'm kind of losing track of my cursor. I kind of wish it was a different color. Dedication two. Okay, that's probably a good idea. More movement speed and base health. But I need to do more damage. I'm gonna do proficiency too. It's nice to be able to move fast and all, but if you don't kill the enemies. There's the green oozes. If you don't kill the enemies, you're definitely not gonna get anything done. Got 
Gotta keep things balanced. Oh man, they, they make little piles of ooze and poison. Dedication two, we got that choice again. I'm gonna do that. Gotta take out that big guy. Oh, shit. Vanguard 2. Attack speed, move speed. I'm gonna go range. I want to get inside of that to that boss. Sub boss or whatever it is. It's all about the circle strafing. Yeah, that that's a big piece of experience. The uh, the red one. Attack speed. Oh god. Oh, now there's two of them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, this is getting intense. Maybe just some defense. I'm getting hit more often now. So I'm taking out that mini boss. Oh, I see. The order that those circles appear in is how they're gonna they're gonna pop out. I'm moving fast enough to avoid a lot of those attacks, though. Which is good. Base health again. Range. Movement speed. I think I want to go even faster. These guys are moving fast now. Walk 5,000 meters. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that block. Pure skill. Uh oh, that's gonna hurt. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Healing, 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 I think. This rotating sphere thing isn't quite as effective as the Bibles in Vampire Survivors. Doesn't feel as effective. Oh, sh what? Did I not kill that guy? Oh, I dropped his shield. This is feeling like the end, guys. Oh. Feeling endish. Maybe I can get that scroll thing. Is that a health potion? Yes. It was. Oh, I almost got I almost got nailed there. 
Ow. Oh! 79! Keep popping up in front of me! I want to see if I can get a health potion. Or just something, I don't know, I'm freaking out here. Survive long? Oh shoot, okay, I blocked that. Yes! Um... Range, space health, pickup range. I think I'm gonna go pickup range. Whoa, oh, okay, his space bar back. Holy shit. It's over. 70. It's over. 49. It's over. Tana! Character level 26, survival time 1824, 2706 kills, damage dealt 546,873. Damn.